Forget cheesy monster movies with crocodiles lurking silently. Buckle up, because in today's cartoon story joke, we're about to expose Hollywood's biggest croc lie. These toothy titans have a past wilder than your Aunt Mildred's family reunion. Vegetarian crocs, surfing reptiles, and even marathon runners? You won't believe it. Remember those cheesy monster movies where crocodiles lurk silently in the swamp, unchanged since the dawn of time? Turns out, Hollywood lied, again. Buckle up, croc aficionados, because we're about to dive into the gloriously weird and wacky evolutionary history of these toothy titans. Sure, there are your standard issue modern crocs, scaly, toothy ambush predators, but that's just the tip of the prehistoric iceberg. Crocodiles, their alligator and gorille cousins, belong to a much larger family called Crocodilomorpha. This ancient lineage is like a twisted family reunion, filled with bizarre relatives that would make even your eccentric Aunt Mildred blush. Imagine a crocodilian that looked like a short-snouted armadillo munching happily on fruits and ferns. That's Simosuchus for you a vegetarian croc who wouldn't know a zebra from a zucchini. Or how about the Thalatosuchians, the ultimate reptilian surfers who sported flippers instead of feet and cruised the prehistoric oceans. These weren't the only oddballs in the croc family. Terrestrisuchus, the reptilian whippet, was a sleek runner built for speed, not lurking. Think of it as the greyhound of the prehistoric world minus the fancy racing jacket. This incredible diversity makes modern crocs seem like a bunch of conformists. It's like they all got together and decided, hey, let's just be slow, aquatic ambush predators. Seems safe. Well, safe maybe, but certainly not very exciting. Speaking of slow, the whole crocodiles are sluggish giants. Stereotype gets a major debunking here. Turns out, their ancient ancestors were fast-growing, active creatures. Imagine a T-Rex-sized croc sprinting across the landscape. That's the kind of energy we're talking about. So, when did things take a slow turn for crocodiles? The prevailing theory linked their sluggishness to their aquatic lifestyle. But here's the plot twist. Fossils reveal a slow-growing croc that lived way before they even dipped their toes, or rather, claws, in the water. Why this landlubber croc decided to chill out on the growth spurt is still a mystery. Maybe resources were scarce back then, or perhaps they were just tired of constantly being outrun by their dinosaur neighbors who were busy breaking land speed records. Another fascinating discovery is the origin story of Crocodilomorpha. These scaly pioneers first graced the earth in what is now Europe. Then, somewhere in North America, the croc and alligator family lines split. Crocs, with their newfound tolerance for salt water, became the ultimate globetrotters, colonizing Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Meanwhile, alligators and their kin stuck mostly to the Americas, proving you don't always need a passport to have a good time. So the next time you see a crocodile basking in the sun, remember, this seemingly simple creature has a rich and surprising past. They've been vegetarians, surfers, even marathon runners. They may not be the most talkative bunch, but their evolutionary history speaks volumes, or maybe just hisses a whole lot. All right, folks, ditch those dusty textbooks and forget everything you thought you knew about crocodiles. We're about to trade prehistoric snooze fests for a story that's wilder than a bar fight at a hippo wedding. A big game hunter had caught a large crocodile and taught him a few tricks. He walked into Ladies' Bar in Falaborwa, put the crocodile down in the corner, and ordered a double. Soon afterwards, he had the crocodile on the counter and was amusing the customers with a few of his tricks. He then patted the croc on its head and it closed its jaws. When the applause died down, he patted the croc on the head again. The croc opened its jaws and the hunter stuck his head into it. After a while, he pulled it out, patted it on the head again, and the croc closed his jaws. As the evening wore on and the drinks began to flow, one customer said, I'll bet you a double you won't put your family jewels in its jaw like that. The hunter patted the croc on the head, 
unzipped his fly and rolled out his family jewels and lay them to the safety of his trousers, patted the croc on the head, and the reptile closed its jaws. He then asked, Is there anyone else who would like to try this trick? One old lady sitting in the corner of the bar said, Yes, I wouldn't mind trying it. But you mustn't pat me on the head like that. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>